Welcome. So this is the Wispy Smoke Lesson, and I'd just like to start out uh, by pulling up some reference uh, that I screen captured off YouTube. So I, I found this reference extremely amusing, <laughs> uh, similar to the flamethrower uh, lesson. The, the kids there were, were pretty mischievous, but if you thought those kids were bad, uh, take a look at these kids. These guys are actually lighting uh, s little miniature smoke bombs, and they're tossing them uh, in a random sewer. Uh, now, I picked this uh, reference, and I, I mean, please, do, do not do this at home, uh, but, but I definitely picked this reference because it was really awesome. The smoke that we were getting uh, from this, look, he, he actually kicks the last one in. Uh, but the smoke that we're getting here is pretty awesome. I, I kind of like it. Uh, there's so many great things going on. We, you know, we see the undulation uh, that we've talked about uh, prior in the uh, oil smoke lesson. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Notice all the forms we're getting as the smoke is rising and being blown to the left. Now, for this particular lesson, we're not going to uh, try to match this effect identically. Uh, our speed is going to be a lot faster. Uh, we're going to be emitting from a storm drain on a ground. Uh, but essentially, what we're trying to achieve is uh, the texture parameters. The you know how's the detail along the edges? How are the, the shapes uh, we're getting uh, upon emission? Uh, how, you know, is there enough swirl parameters being used? Uh, is there enough damping? So, if you, if you look at what we have uh, to the right compared to the, to the reference, uh, the speed uh, is not the same. That's totally fine, uh, and that's one thing about uh, the point of reference is you can use a reference to help you achieve a specific shot uh, just by looking at uh, its main fundamental attributes and that's how you know the, the vortices that you see based off of resolution um, how dense uh, some of the smoke may be along the edges uh, how's the core looking how, how's the light uh, casting uh, when you when it casts shadows how's ray tracing looking uh, things like that you keep in mind um, I just slowed down my simulation there to the right just so we could see how it behaves. But those are the things and tendencies that I look for when I uh, create a simulation. And, and as we notice now, we, we slow our simulation. Uh, we see a lot of the great detail uh, in our reference that we see in ours. So wonderful. So I'm liking the shapes that I'm getting, the pluming, billowing uh, forms that I'm getting. Uh, you'll notice at the top I have a slight wind field uh, that's starting to, to pull the smoke to the left a little bit as it dissipates. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm very happy uh, with, with how this came out. Now, the resolution is pretty moderate. Uh, I res that a, a final resolution of 300. Uh, once we get the scene file, uh, you'll be able to play with it. And, and, and tweak it to your liking, but this is a good uh, base foundation uh, wispy smoke uh, uh, scene file to, to start from, and you can go in and, and add more resolution depending on your machine, uh, change your settings, um, add more detail, add more uh, turbulence. You can, if you want, you can try to match the reference uh, as best you can, and, and even increase your wind field. And it, it would just be a matter of you just uh, utilizing the auto resize function and going in and, and addressing that appropriately so when your densities are being carried to the left uh, similar to the old smoke lesson uh, you wouldn't have a problem at all so this uh, test here I just pulled up was the uh, color corrected test and all I did was uh, I changed some color values I added a little bit of motion blur and I'm just slowing down the simulation just so you could see how uh, the different attributes and settings that we applied uh, how they all are working together so I really like the forms I'm getting uh, from from our swirl. You can you can see uh, turbulence uh, going to work. Uh, I'm not texturing uh, this fluid, uh, but that's perfectly fine. So I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, we're going to get started, and see you in the next chapter.